Remote Recompression Chambers, Are They Any Good? by Lee Griffith, performed by Dr. Franz Cronier. In this podcast, Lee Griffith discusses what divers can expect at remote recompression chambers and Dan's assistance to chambers through the Recompression Chamber Assistance and Partnership Program. If you dive for long enough, you will ultimately hear of divers getting decompression illness. And more often than not, what you hear is not necessarily the full story. It may be exaggerated or exclude key facts. And this is especially true when you hear stories of divers treated in foreign countries or in remote locations. These regions seem to do things differently than one would expect at home. The question is, is this the way things should be done? Okay, so we can say that health systems vary greatly from one country to another. And unless a person has adequate insurance, they may not have access to these facilities at all. Look at it this way. If a person travels to a foreign country, what makes them entitled to free health care? The answer is nothing. Even if countries have complete social health systems, it doesn't mean it's free to tourists or visitors. So the first thing we need to ensure is that there is proper insurance that covers us when traveling and diving. Well, with that lecture on insurance over, let's look at what you can expect from a hyperbaric chamber in a remote area. The first thing to note is that not all chambers are the same. What we mean by that is not only that they look different, but they also differ in terms of how many people they can accommodate and also what their primary activities are. You'll find that if you're diving near a big city, they'll have a chamber that probably does clinical hyperbaric oxygen therapy for things other than diving problems. These chambers are large, based in hospitals, and as we said, typically focus on non-diving related problems. It's usually not a worry, but sometimes the people who work at these facilities are not as experienced in treating diving injuries as one might expect. When you look at remote resort chambers, on the other hand, they may be very simple, based in a clinic and often almost only treat divers. As a result, they sometimes have a wealth of experience of treating decompression illness, even though they're not in a hospital. These chambers are small, typically, and sometimes can only accommodate two or three people at the most. They're also called deck decompression chambers and are typically used in commercial dive settings, on dive barges, dive boats or diving platforms. Whatever they are, they should be staffed by competent, trained attendants and operators. Most of the staff members that work at these chambers are from the local diving community and are trained as attendant operators. The chambers are still under control and guidance of a qualified and licensed doctor. If they're not, then it may be worth going elsewhere if that's possible. Dan has been working hard over the past few years to assist chambers through the Recompression Chamber Assistance and Partnering Program. Chambers that are affiliated with Dan through this program take advantage of technical assessments and training that Dan provides, which generally means that they are fit for the intended purpose and they've been visited and inspected by Dan. These chambers often readily say that they are affiliated with Dan and it's in their interest to be seen as safe. If you need to stay in a hospital after your treatment, and many chambers will arrange this as a precaution, you may need to be moved to a local hospital, sometimes by ambulance, which means that the bill will increase significantly for other than the chamber treatment. That can cause quite a number of complications with communication if the insurance company is not made aware of that and if the hospital is a different company. So, although a remote chamber may seem small or be in a bit of a run-down part of town, these chambers often have a lot of experience and support will ensure that you receive the best treatment available. The chambers affiliated with Dan's Recompression Chamber Assistance and Partnering Program are considered safe and staffed by persons who have received appropriate training. Even so, we hope you don't need them on your next dive trip, if ever.